can see, we are going to solve a sum based on the properties of circles. In this figure, there is a circle with diameter AC parallel to the chord ED. I hope you can see the diameter AC, which is parallel to the chord ED here. One angle CBE is given as 65 degree. This angle is given CBE, which is 65 degree. I'm just highlighting it with color. I think you can see the angle CBE, which is 65 degree. You have been asked to find out angle DEC, this angle. Angle DEC, the value or measure of angle DEC has to be calculated. How can we go ahead with this? Now, AC is a diameter. So, therefore, there is a center point here somewhere on this diameter AC. It is not named here. So, how can we use the properties of circle? One by one, let us recollect what have we learned. We will break this into parts. First, let us look at triangle AEC here. Triangle AEC. In this triangle, I think you can spot a known angle. This angle AEC. This angle AEC should be 90 degree. Why should it be 90 degree? Because this is the angle subtended in a semicircle, AC being the diameter. So this angle is 90 degree. All right, so let us write down what we have uh, collected just now. Angle AEC is equal to 90 degree. Do not forget to mention the reason whenever you write these statements. Uh, I'm not writing this here because we are just understanding the process. But when you will work it out, you should mention the reason by the side all right now can we see another angle angle eac this angle angle eac check out the angle eac here i am highlighting it again with orange angle eac this angle should be equal to 65 degree this angle should be equal to 65 degree. Why do you think it should be equal to 65 degree? Because angle EAC is equal to angle EBC. These two angles are equal. Now, I hope you can remember why I have considered these two angles as equal. Both the angles are in the same segment. Angles in the same segment are equal. We can see this arc EC, which is actually subtending these two angles. Or we can rather say these two are angles in the same segment of the circle. Angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. So angle A is EAC and angle EBC, they are both equal and they are 65 degrees. Now look at triangle AEC. In triangle AEC, in this triangle, we know two angles already. One is 65, the other is 90 degree. And the third angle is angle ACE. If I will add these three angles, we will get 180 degree. This is due to the angle sum property. So using the angle sum property, I can get angle ACE as we can calculate it from this equation 180 minus you add these two and subtract 65 plus 90 
which is 180 minus 155 that is 25 so angle ACE this angle is 25 what information is given in the picture about the line segments ED and AC? As you look at the figure, the diameter AC is parallel to the chord ED. So obviously, angle ACE and angle DEC are alternate interior angles. So angle ACE is definitely equal to angle DEC. So angle DEC is also this angle is also 25 equal to this one because they are alternate interior angles. So that is what we were trying to calculate. Angle DEC is equal to 25. Check out the recap where I have compiled the reasons by the side of the steps.